Hi guys, so today I have a book haul on books that I got um yesterday. And I got these at a library that has like semi like tw semi annual book sales and it happens in the winter time and the summer time usually. So we got a lot of books and the thing with this is my mom got some books, I got some books and it was all I think like $15 I think so this was like a really great little book haul especially when like you know you need to stock up on books and I have a lot of books I still have to read and it's just like so amazing that I got all these books for like all that money because you know probably most of these books would have been like 20 30 40 maybe plus dollars but I got these other books out so this one I got is, is Cleopatra A Life by Stacy Schniff, Schnuff, I don't know. If I say any of these authors' names wrong, it's just because, you know, I haven't really, like, heard of them before. And I really liked this, the cover of this book. Like, I was there to look for a specific author, but, you know, every once in a while you come across books that you really might like. And I really like the cover of this book. It's really fa fancy, if you can tell. Like this, so I really like it. The next book I got is, is um Book Lust, and this is just a book that I um do. It says it's by Nancy Pearl, and it's recommended reading for every mood, moment, and reason. And it goes through all these different um books. She's a librarian who is gonna tell you like what books you should read depending on your mood, I guess, and this book was originally sixteen ninety five, and I only got this, I think, for, like, a dollar or two, and this is what it looks like. I really liked the cover of this book. Some of the, some of the books, I really liked the covers on, and I really liked them, or, like, I really liked the, um, what is it, the, the inter not the introduction of the book, but, like, the, pr not the prologue, either, like, the summary on the back of the book. Some of them I do, some, I'll tell you, like, which ones I really looked at the cover are, and some that I just read the back of it and really thought it would be good. So, the next one I got is, is if you know me and you've seen many of my book reviews, I read V.C. Andrews books now. V.C. Andrews books I really like because each family or orphan or, um whatever, they are really good, so these, and her books are usually, like, they have a prologue and an epilogue, and the, this is, like, a mini, this is a series, so there's actually 600 pages in this book, so they just looked at it, but, um, usually her books are usually either, like, 400 pages more, or they're close to 400 pages, so, and there's always a prologue and epilogue, usually. And they're usually around, like, 20 chapters or close to 20. And this is a V.C. Andrews book. It's um, a four-book series together in one throwing volume. It's Shooting Stars. And the four, vol the four volumes in it is Cinnamon, Ice, Rose, and Honey. And this is what it looks like. These four girls, each one is one of the stories is about. I just really like her books. Like, her books are, like so good. I'm sorry if, like, it's getting really, like, blurry because it's not really light outside because it's snowed here, so it's gonna be, like, dark, light, sort of. I don't know, but, um, yeah. So this one, I actually read the back of the book, and I really liked it because it's sort of like a fictional history because it's about World's Fair. It's about the World's Fair that was in, like, the 1930s. And it's by E.L. Doctorow, Doctorow, I think. Yeah, it's like Doctorow. So this is what it looks like. It's not really like a fancy cover, but I got it just because I really like the, um, the, the back of the book. I think it's about his, um, growing up is as a young boy in the 1939 World World's Fair. So, I think it's good because it's going to be like sort of like a historical thing about like the World's Fair 
and some about, you know, his life or whatever. So, these books I actually, the this author I really don't usually read, but I remember when I first started reading books, like really like novels, not like little kids books. It was the Cat Who series, and this Cat Who series is by Lin, Linian, Lian, I don't know, Lillian Jackson Braun, and her books are about two cats and this guy, and she's like into cats and everything, and she's a nice, she, like, the back of the book, she's like a really, like, she looks like she's a really nice, like, older lady, and her books are really good, and it's the Cat Who series, and there's, like, she writes so many of these books in the series, like, there's so many Cat Who books, and I always forget which ones I read and which ones I didn't and didn't, but this is the Cat Who Knew a Cardinal, and this is what it looks like. I really like her books, so it wasn't from, like, reading the back or the cover, I just really like her books, and sometimes they sell these at book sales, but there's, like, a lot of books that she has about this, these series. I think there's another one, but I really like the title character in this book. He's really funny, and he's, like, normal compared to, like, some of the other people you might read books about. Her books are really good. Like, if you just start reading and you're transitioning into either, like, not reading, like, young adult books or, like, little kid books or whatever, this is a good book. These are good books to, like start you out reading, because these books, because, um, the Cat Who series is really mellow, and it doesn't have a lot of, like, details in it, it's, like, a really, like, starter book for anybody who's just starting to read novels or anything like that. Um, this is another V.C. Andrews book, it's from, it's a second novel in the exciting Logan Family series, and I don't have all these, um, all the books in most of her series, I think I only have two completed ones, but I'm, I'm working on the rest of them. But this is V.C. Andrew's Heart Song. And this is what it looks like. It's not really like an interesting cover. But she's what I'm into right now. So yeah. So this is a Shakespeare. I really like um, reading Shakespeare. Like I'll, um, I'll read it on audio. This is I think it's like LibriVox.org or something. And it's where you can go on. And they have like all these classical plays and novels. That you can listen to for free, except the people who do it, they don't really like, they're not like, they don't show emotion when they read it, they just like reading it. But that's how, that's who, that's, that's the site I go to to listen to his plays. And this is Shakespeare's All's Well That Ends Well. And this is what it looks like. It's by the Signet Company, Signet Classic. And I really like Signet's books better plays because it goes through like a little intro introduction to the play and then it goes actually into the play and it's really nice I really like um the plays and everything and then there's like author's notes in it from different people so this is um a Nelson DeMille um book I really liked the the back of the book not really the front of the book this is called cathedral and it happens something happens in it during um St. Patrick's Day it's like somebody dies in the church or something I don't know but um this is what it looks like this book and this is a really big book like it's really thick like you can tell it's like this thick so it's not for like the avid like not avid reader so this is another um Shakespeare book or oh, not book um play it's it's cor corlanius corlonius i don't know how to say it but um this is what it looks like it's not really that exciting i really like his his work so i always have to like find all of his stuff and i really like these small little books because it's better than carrying around like a big book full of, like all of his works and everything i really like the smaller books better and I really, got, I got this book, um, because I saw the movie, um, when it comes on TV, and I really like the movie, and this is by Audrey, Audrey, and I don't know how to say her last name, it's a time traveler's wife, and I really like the movie, so I just decided, hey, why not try and read the book and see if it's anything like the movie, I have the movie, so I might, I might compare it to the movie a little bit
movie. Comment below and tell me if the movie's better or the book's better. Because sometimes I always think the book's always better than the movie. And then sometimes I think the movie's better. But that's like every once in a while. So this is another book that I got because I actually... I actually um, saw this movie and I really liked it. Natalie Portman's in it and she's like one of like my favorite actresses like ever and this is where the heart is it doesn't it doesn't really come on tv that much anymore but it used to come on lifetime and i remember this movie was like the best ever movie like it was so it had was like funny it had drama it was like a romance comedy stuff like that it was like the best movie ever this is what it looks like it's just like from the from the movie this is the next three i have are traveling books because, you know, like, if I ever wanted to go to these books, I mean, these places, I can read about them and know some more knowledge about them. And this is France 2004. This is the only one they had that was from France. So this is what it looks like. It's not really interesting. I just got it because I wanted to read more about different cities and countries. And this is, um, I don't know, what company is this? I don't know. But, um, this is Rome. This is what it looks like. It has lots of it looks has lots of pictures in it, and different um, places to go, and it explains everything. So yeah, it's really nice, and I really like Rome and Italy and France. Like those are like the well, Rome is in Italy, but I really like Italy and France now. So this is what the book looks like, and the other one that goes along with it is is Italy. All the book about Italy is the same. It's the same company. It has lots of pictures and places to go and visit and history and everything. And this is what it looks like. I told you, like, I have lots of books. Um, this is Henry David Thoreau, and I really like his um, books. And I read this in college, like, little excerpts of it. And I think we read Civil Disobedience, too. This is Walden and C Civil Disobedience. And I really like his book because he's all about, like, nature and everything. And I'm a lot of, I like a lot about nature and flowers and plants and animals. So I really, I think I read this. And this is like a signet classic like the Shakespeare ones are. And it's really small and everything. But this is what it looks like. I mean, there's lots of different versions of this probably around where they have edited cuts of it and then not edited cuts of it. But I really wanted to read it. I really wanted to read the whole thing. Because I think in school we didn't have to read the whole thing. We just had to read, like, little excerpts of it. And this is um, short stories by Thomas Mann. And this is Death in Venice with other short stories. Sorry. Other short stories and Death in Venice. I never read this book. I never heard of... I think I heard about him, like, once... But not really. Like, I don't know anything about him. But I just wanted to get it and see if I liked his work or not. But um, this is what it looks like. This. Not really an exciting cover. Um, this is just a book of presidents. This is what... I might actually read this now. But, um, this is the book of presidents. And I really like it because I like learning about different, like, fun facts about presidents and i really just like to read about presidents it's the book of presidents it's not only educational it's a lot of fun to read and this is what it looks like it's just a small little book it only goes up to like the for the first george bush the dad so it doesn't go up that far but i really really like learning about it. i think that book was only a dollar or two so most of these books are a dollar some are two dollars because some of them are hardbacks but, um, yeah, they're really good. And the last book I have is the last V.C. Andrews book that I could find that I didn't have already. And this is Fallen Hearts. It goes with the Castile family. I don't know what number novel it is. I don't know if it's three, four, or five. I don't know. But, um, this is what it looks like. I really like the cover. It was actually, like, a thing you would want to read, like, on Valentine's Day, sort of, because it has, like, little hearts on it. And the tree looks like a heart and everything. It looks like a little, like, romance novel. But, um, that's all the books that I got at my, at the book sale I was at. 
So comment below and tell me if you read any of these books and tell me if they're good or if you want me to read anybody else's books or you have any suggestions on any books you want me to read. Comment them below. Please subscribe. Um, like this video. Share this video. And I'll see you guys next time with another video and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.